Hey guys, Ben here. Today I just wanted to give you a quick little insight on the Dragonfly. I've had a few days to spend with it and I've tried a lot of different pellets through it and some have performed a little bit better than others but all around it's a really fun little 22 multi-pump to shoot and I'm just going to tell you a few things about it, a few things that you should know. First of all, this is a really well-crafted multi-pump. A lot of the multi-pumps that I've had have been plastic, pretty, you know, plastic everywhere. You know, this is all wood and metal. You know, the trigger guard's plastic, but the trigger's metal. The bolt, the bolt is a really nice metal bolt, and you can even decock this rifle, which is cool. Another one of the really cool things about this Dragonfly is that you can take out the single-shot tray trade that out for a multi-shot magazine. It auto indexes, so all you gotta do is just cock it and you've got the next round in there. The wood stock is really a very nice wood. It feels good in the hand. It's actually a pretty solid wood, so it's not gonna get banged up right away. I think this would actually last for a good long time. Now I'm gonna actually go ahead and run through with you guys how I go about shooting this rifle to keep it safe. It works a little bit differently from some multi-pumps because you do have to cock it in order to start pumping air. But what I do is just go ahead and pull this back, don't actually load the pellet, then you can pump it. Load your pellet, take it off safe, and shoot. Now by doing it in that order, I don't actually have the round chambered while I'm pumping the rifle, which is important because if you had any sort of slip up or something, you know, you wouldn't want to have the round all the way jacked in there. The other thing that I've noticed about this rifle is that it was difficult to pump at first. I will definitely admit that it was a challenge, but after putting about a hundred rounds through it, it's gotten considerably easier on the pumping action. Another thing that you can do to make it a lot easier is instead of gripping it back here to pump all the way there, actually go ahead and hold it further up. You can hold it right here behind this sight, and that gives you a lot better leverage. As far as noise goes, it does have a little bit of a sort of a crisp little smack to it. Now the thing about that is that because it's a multi-pump and it's not super easy to pump, it's gonna be a few seconds or minutes in between shots, so it's not like you're just gonna be tapping them out. So I think it is okay to use in the backyard, but just maybe not all day. The other thing to consider is that if you want to shoot it in your yard, maybe only go to four or five pumps instead of the full eight. Uh, it's got two-thirds of the sound at four and five pumps as it does at the full eight pumps. So there you go, guys. I hope this helps you out if you're looking at the Dragonfly. If this is something that you've been considering picking up, I would definitely say for multi-pumps, this is an awesome multi-pump. It's got great build quality. It's fun to shoot. Excellent power and accuracy. Excellent, you know, all metal build quality. I mean, this is a super cool multi pump. I love multi pumps, and I'm stoked to see that there's something like this that's come to market. So, that's it for today on the Dragonfly. Have a great day, guys.